Yeah, hello everyone. As you probably know already, these nice Nichicon capacitors are not manufactured anymore. So Muse series has no replacement at all. And there is no good audio bipolar capacitors produced by Nichicon anymore. Uh, for fine gold series, uh, they are producing couple uh, other replacement series. I'm not sure that they are exact much from sound perspective. Uh, my experiments show that they are a little bit different. I would not say worse, they still sounds fine, but not at the level how this capacitor sounds. And that's her like, uh, we will be trying tonight these uh, red guys. Okay, one, one, why one is missing? So five, 10, 15, 20, okay, all here. So these red capacitors are polymer capacitors. They are still polar. And this red one is a Wurz Electronics uh, capacitors. And this white one is a Nichicon, but uh, polymer series capacitors. So you may see here. Does it show manufacturer made in China? Oh, it's Kemet. Sorry, it's not Nishiko. This guy's Kemet. This guy's uh, Kemet as well. And this guy's Kemet. I here these guys are Wurst Electronics. Okay. Uh, these capacitors are polymer capacitors, so the difference are when you take regular electrolytic capacitors, they have a liquid electrolyt electrolyte inside. And these capacitors have a solid electrolyte, okay? So they would not uh, leak over time. Also, these capacitors uh, has a lower ESR and lower ESL. So technically, they should be even much more uh, suitable for audio, as uh, they should be probably like, um, passing all range of frequencies without any issues. Okay, now let me put you in a holder here. Okay, and let me pull up my device. Will it run? No, it's need to charge. Okay, uh, meet you in the next part when this uh, tester will be charged, so we will uh, check ESR and ESL. See you. Hey guys, I'm back. So let's do some comparison tests. So this one is 22 microfarad. Let's pull up one of this and let's get 22 microfarad niche con use and let's compare the results. Let's start from well known niche con. Okay, need to make even wings here. Okay, let's check together. So it shows 22 microfarad, 22.82, and ESR 0 0.29 ohm. Okay. Now let's test this one. You see, twenty three point ninety nine and ESR zero point fifteen, ohm. almost twice less. All right, let's do one more test with different capacitors. Let me see this one. It's four point seven. 
This can go through bullet points um, here. Measuring uh, shows 4.804 ESR 1.2 ohm. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, now this guy. shows the same 4.807 and ESR 0 0.25 ohm. Okay. Now I believe to everything that was advertised. So now it's time to replace. So let me work. I'm going to recap for my uh, Sony 555 PSA and uh, my Super Audio CD player. See you on the next part. And here guys, all the change is required to replace these two guys because I'm using all the stereo output. I will keep the Nishikon Muse here because these guys are five and a half bucks per piece. So <laughs> let's let's listen first and then we will be able to decide what next. I just mentioned this uh, quartz resonator is, is just glued <laughs> to the board in this like form, not straight. Pretty weird. Why? Right. Let's see. So this is the latest generation. I just recently purchased it. Uh, uh, Sony Super Audio CD player model XR. 333 it should arrive in a week or so and then like we would be able to compare this guy with uh, the more sophisticated sony it has way more capacitors on the board okay let's listen hey guys i decided to film this part because you may be interested how to assemble or disassemble these guys is, is pretty simple and just be careful to not bend or not crack any connectors okay there is not too many of them now let's fix board from the back side this screws here I'm using automatic screwdriver. It saves lots of time. Now let's fix the board. It has three locations. Just when you use powerful screwdriver, make sure that at the end, when it's complete uh, screwing, you don't hold it tight to not break the thread. So you see, it just rotates a little bit in my head. All right, now let me connect the power connector here. And three connectors here. Oops, sorry. It's not very really convenient. And not my space where is it? I did it. Cross. I need my second glasses.
uh, gently install it by pushing one side and another side a little bit and this will sit in place. Okay, and the small one. Yeah. Done. Now installing the video board. The board has the regular capacitor, nothing interesting. Oh, sorry, I forgot to install the holder. This guy here. Let's install this one. That's it. Okay, and now we can install the board. What I like in Sony is that they have used all the same screws. It's very easy to install, assemble. I'm pretty hard to mess up. All screws are co covered with like copper, the copper plated. Uh -huh. Here we go. screws to hold on the back. You see it was not complicated procedure. Bomb connectors. Done. Assembled. Now it's time to check and then I will work on the Sony tape recorder. And let's compare the differences. See you soon.